Artistas, hello artists. Emily the Art Dog and I are really excited today because we got a new book for you. I have been trying to come up with ways that we can do art at home that is fun and you get to be creative and you learn a lot. And so I've been doing a lot of research, trying to find new, new books I could use and new cool stuff for you. And this book came in the mail. And I'm so excited because this book is about scribbling and that is pretty fun. We are always taught that scribbling is bad. Well, I don't think it is. So let's read a book about a scribble and make some art with scribbles. Okay. This is a story about scribble whose lines would cross and wiggle. Tiny loops would start him small. Bigger swirls would make him tall. He could be shades of green or baby blue. Even crazy colors, he loved them too. Choosing bright colors made him feel free. You never knew which one he would be. Then one day, Scribble took a short walk where he found a house and stopped to talk. Hello, said Scribble. It's such a great day, I thought I'd come over and we could play. The house never saw anything like Scribble before, but he was curious enough to find out a bit more. So, even though he was grumpy and didn't want to play, he still managed to grunt, What are you, anyway? Scribble was confused and didn't know what to say, so he said to the house, I, 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 I'm just a scribble, is that okay? It's not okay, said the house. You don't look right, your lines aren't straight, and your colors are too bright. But color's fun, Scribble said. I can show you why, just give me a chance, please, let me try. No, said the house, you cannot stay, you're nothing like me, now go away. Hearing those words made Scribble so sad, a tear ran down his face. He felt really bad. I won't be upset, he proclaimed that day, so he changed his colors and he went on his way. He continued his walk and soon found the sun. Along with the colors, they could all have some fun. But the sun saw him coming and told him to stop. Your lines are too messy. We don't have a mop. Turn around, little Scribble, he went on to say. Go back to your house, please. Just go away. But you're not being nice, Scribble shouted quite mad. The fact that I'm different doesn't make me so bad. My colors are special. My lines are just fine. If you'd give me a chance, we could have a great time. Should we ask him to play? They huddled to discuss. It's fun with more friends. It's usually just us. But... And although they were worried this wouldn't work out, being mean to Scribble wasn't what they were about. Scribble was surprised at what he saw the next day. All the drawings were there and they wanted to play. Even Rainbow showed up and he never came by. He was standing right there, near the sun in the sky. We're so sorry, said the clouds as they held back their tears. Please come play, said the house. We haven't had fun in years. I forgive you, Scribble shouted as he did a happy dance. They were so grateful they gave him another chance. Scribble gathered up his colors and played with everyone. Blue, purple, green, and yellow. It was all so much fun. Look at what they created when they finally came together. The art was so beautiful and it was better than ever. This book has so many lessons, boys and girls. Lessons about inclusion, lessons about not judging others for being different than you, lessons about not criticizing your own artwork. This book is a great, great book. I love this book. So I made a rainbow with scribbles, and I put little eyes and faces on there. And then here I made my house with scribbles, and my house has a great big pine tree in front of it, and some a bunch of flowers that grow under it, and my house is made of brick. So it's kind of reddish, and then the porch is kind of a teal color and some cream, and then I've got my sky, my sun, my clouds. So what else could you do? Well, you could do something abstract. That's an art word we've talked about before. 
It's art that doesn't look like something real. It has line, shape, color, texture, and value, just like realistic art, but it doesn't have a realistic subject like a car or a horse or a dog. Let me try some abstract art. That's a great way to work with scribble. But as you saw from my book and my examples, you can do art with scribbles that's realistic-ish as well, can't you? That's what's so cool about art. You can do it any way you want. And it's fun. And you can try new things. Like some scribbles. This is pretty cool. And I could add some eyes and a mouth. This could be a great big scribble. There. Pretty happy guy. Or you could do any idea the book gives you. There's no wrong way to scribble, right? It's kind of a great message for art in general that it's really up to you to be creative and if your art doesn't look like my art and it doesn't look like your neighbor's art, that is perfectly fine. So my friends, happy scribbling! I miss you!